What is up, everybody? After many requests, we're going to check out this Gamelan sound tracker, Indonesia. Gamelan is like this traditional ensemble of primarily percussive instruments. And as somebody who grew up playing percussion instruments, this is going to be really cool for me to see. So, yeah, let's check it out. Wow. They're so in sync. That's so amazing. I mean, like, growing up playing music, you would have a, a metronome to give you a tempo to provide a framework for your playing. But these guys, it just seems like they are so skilled that they just know exactly when to play. There's no time that needs to be kept. This stuff is awesome, man. I am mesmerized at 40 seconds in. It's like a, reminds me of like those singing bowls. They like resonate with these certain frequencies that just, I don't know, just almost hypnotizing in a way. Wow. There's, their dynamics are so on point. Sorry to pause it so much. I'm just really enjoying this. Their dynamics are so awesome. Like, they'll get so quiet and then build it up really loud. And, and I love how they're muting. This isn't just some simple tapping that they're doing. It's very complex. I mean... <laughs> Not only are they tapping the right notes at the right time, but they're muting certain notes, they're controlling dynamics, and there's a lot going on here. This is awesome. Wow. So good. I mean, this is like some complex stuff to play. It's not like 4-4, four, four. I mean, like how we're used to, where it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is, perhaps it even is 4-4, four, four, and it, they're playing on such odd beats that it just sounds like a different time signature, but I'm like mind blown right now at how complex and difficult what they're playing is. Granted, I'm sure they've practiced a lot, and they're clearly really good and know what they're doing, but... This is not any, this is not simple what they're doing. It's very complex. <laughs> this is freaking awesome.
This is so good. I know you guys are going to be mad that I'm pausing it so much, but I just can't express how awesome this is. It's just so much going on, so complex. They all know exactly what to play and when exactly to play it. And that guy with the uh, some sort of wind instrument, I mean, that's so cool. Just to, And it just aside from the playing itself, I mean, the attire is freaking amazing. Cool look and a cool sound. sun come out. Wow. One thing I'm noticing that I remember being taught in percussion was you play something with purpose no matter what it is even if it's an instrument you deem to be you know not maybe not as important how they're not just they're not just casually hitting it like la 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 they're like very intently hitting it you know with purpose which is really beautiful to see I love also how it sounds like they're playing with two hands, but they're playing with one hand, and then the other hand they're they're muting it. Play over here, mute this one. Play over there, mute that one. That's I've I've never really seen that before because the different instruments I've played that were similar, you played with two hands, and there was like a pedal you could use to uh, lower and raise like a muffler cushion. But it's really cool to see them play with one hand and also mute with the other hand.
<laughs> so cool. One thing I'm still really enjoying that I have to say again is the dynamics. It's so, so good how they're controlling the dynamics. A lot of times beginners playing drums or any instrument really, they'll play everything the same volume. If you're a beginner, it takes a little time to learn to properly control dynamics. But once you can, once you learn how important dynamics are, you realize how powerful they can be. You know, getting louder and quieter at the right times for the right reasons. It's just, I, I love everything about this. It's just right up my alley. Wow. This was this was awesome. I think I was able to connect to this video a little bit more because I've played percussion my entire life, pretty much. I mean, ever since I was a little kid, banging on stuff at home eventually led to me banging on stuff in school. And luckily, you know, we always had music classes in school. I love their instruments too. I mean, it's so cool how they're playing with one hand and muting and muffling with the other hand this was freaking awesome just this is like it seems like a very professional group of musicians who all have practiced a lot and know exactly what they're doing because everything was so in sync it was like almost robotic i don't even know what to say i'm like at a loss for words on this because i knew this was going to be cool i just didn't expect it to be as complex as it is not even just the playing but the gestures before and after you play the note they're all so intentional and purposeful, you know, everything's so synchronized. Yeah, and also the control of dynamics is such an important part of this sound, you know, it's really cool. I love this a lot. I hope there's more Gamelan videos like this. So definitely let me know of some more um, Gamelan. And I know that Gamelan is a, there's many different types from what I understand. So things that I would take away from this that I think are really awesome is they all seem to be very well synchronized. They're playing very intentionally and with purpose. They have great control of dynamics. And uh, yeah, they just clearly know what they're doing and have practiced this a lot. Much respect to these guys. Like traditionally speaking, when would this type of music be played? Would it be played at like ceremonies, maybe a wedding? different festivals, or maybe it's religious. Maybe it's all of them. Maybe it's none of them. I don't know. Let me know, though, when this would likely be played historically. So thanks, guys, for watching. This was Soundtracker Gamelan Indonesia. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Salamat Tengal, and goodbye.